A lot of the people who are watching that series didn't really realise they were being manipulated. People started finding a lot of Shane Dawson's content that was extremely questionable. It makes me feel gross. Hi guys, so today's video I want to talk about Shane Dawson. There's been a few Instagram posts recently where he's mentioned he's getting ready to come back. Because Shane Dawson seems to be preparing for a return after making a series of posts celebrating the one-year release of his conspiracy palette on Instagram. Last year was one of the best moments of my life, and I think about it almost every day. Thank you, Jeffree Star, for believing in me, and thank you to everyone who made that time so special. I'll never, ever forget it. Sorry for all the pics. Just feeling emotional and sentimental tonight. I'll be back soon, I promise. Thanks for going down memory lane with me. Hope you had an amazing and safe Halloween. I want to share some of my thoughts on some of the past behaviors as well as my thoughts on him coming back to YouTube or any platform for that matter. Shane Dawson was known for a long time. He did like skit videos for a really long time. It's pronounced as Seuss. Shut the fuck up and eat your pie. Yes, Mrs. Gladys. Ah, oh, Mexicans, right? You can't live with them. Well, this is a nice place you got. Oh, you guys should shoot porno here. Unfortunately, somebody already does. Shane, have you seen the sugar cubes? My co-star is getting feisty. <laughs> Hold your horses! Hey, that was punny. <laughs> oh, I still got it. Yeehaw! And then started getting himself into more serious documentary kind of style videos. That is not for me. I don't watch videos like that. I watch mukbangs. Um, I first started watching him around when he made the Tanamojo uh, Tanacon documentary series. I was watching a lot to do with that. That was a shit show. So with that being said, fuck VidCon! Fuck anyone who created VidCon! We're never getting in. Because there's no way to fucking get in. Then she needs to give everybody their money. Yeah! This shit show couldn't get any worse. Are you guys having fun today? <laughs> That's when I first became aware, really, of Shane Dawson. I didn't know anything about him. I knew YouTube. Sweetie. I knew YouTube as gaming YouTubers and beauty YouTubers. I didn't really venture out much. I watch a lot of different stuff. Crime kind of videos, beauty content, gamers, like food videos. I watch a ton of stuff on YouTube now because that is like, that's <laughs> basically where I watch everything. I watched his Tanacom videos and then obviously he came out with the Jeffree Star series. This is crazy. What the fuck? This is crazy. What the fuck is this? Yeah, that's crazy. I ended up getting this kind of love for him and his friends and their kind of dynamic. When the flight attendant comes up to me, I'll say, oh, put oil on me. But okay, so and then she'll go. I cannot find graphic tees. Can we skip the onesies? We're not getting fucking onesies! We got the fucking onesies. When he started coming out with more and more series, I watched every single one of them. Like a lot of other people, I got hooked when he came out with the series around his merch and his makeup operation with Jeffree Star. The sash and smash the tiara. No, that's not me. I'll never be prom queen. Be prom queen. A lot of the people who are watching that series didn't really realise they were being manipulated. So much so that Beauty Bay and Jeffree Star's own website, they both just crashed. So, it's a try, it's a staff. Well, but who's, who's asking that? Uh, Shopify. Fix it! Cool. Can we please do I'm that I'm not right booting now? these kids, there's a kid in a hospital bed right now who has a fucking laptop. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Don't boot anybody. Oh. <laughs> because it was so many people trying to get the conspiracy palette and the full collection. Everybody was on that website. I was on that website and refreshing it for two 
hours. I remember telling everyone about it. I told family about it. I told friends about it. I told my boyfriend at the time about it. I was really, really excited. But when you took a step back, there was quite a few shades in that palette I didn't like. Like the Trisha shade, no, no shade to Trisha. Even though I've got plenty of thoughts about Trisha, which I may share another video, maybe next week, we'll see. There was quite a lot of shades in that palette I didn't like. I also didn't like the setup. I thought that it could have been way improved. So some I would remove, but even if it was just moved around a little bit, I feel like I'd enjoy the palette a lot more. Um, it's just a bit all over the place. Early this year, more, like, it was quite a few people that came out. D'Angelo Wannis and I believe it was Luke Alexander, both of them mentioned about the whole video series was like a commercial for this palette, which is one of the reasons they felt like they had to have that palette or the collection. A lot of people afterwards were like, yeah, I shouldn't have bought that, I'm never gonna use it. Even Soph Does Life, she bought the whole collection and then even afterwards was like, I just spent 300 pounds on that. And she only ended up using the Conspiracy palette twice. I only used it a handful of times because it's just, because of the layout, it's kind of unusable. But then everyone was recommended. I can't remember what time of the year it was, but there was a lot of videos that started to get linked. People started finding a lot of Shane Dawson's content that was extremely questionable. I'm talking about kissing very under, like extremely underage fans, like 13, 14 years old. Great family friendly G rated time. Okay, so please explain what you want me to do. Um, I want him to chew that gum and then give it to me. In your mouth? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm going to jail. Is there anybody around? No. It's natural for a cry at your age. <laughs> yeah. So we want to talk to you. We want to explain what sex is. Quiet. To you. This happens. See. Oh. <laughs> ah. okay. Now, are you on your period right Stop now? It. What? I'm trying to. Get the answers. Alright, three, two, okay, 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 Jokingly masturbating to an underage Willow Smith. Oh, Willow. Oh, with your hair back and forth. Oh, oh. Of which Willow Smith's brother, Jaden, called him out for it and said he was disgusted, which I think a I think everyone was and I, I feel for the Smith family having to see that whether they saw it then whether they saw it now it's just disgusting also her mother Will Smith's wife also commented on it and said that it doesn't matter whatever his apology is it doesn't matter he never should have done that it's, it was never ever gonna be funny there was also clips of him on almost like MSM messenger but it was a different server or something I'm so sweaty right now. I'm like, oh, can you guys see my pants? <laughs> okay, good. Huh? I was like itching myself and I'm not wearing any pants. And then I realized I was on camera. This is a bad idea. Anytime I do these tiny chats, I always say something or show something inappropriate. Whether you could video cam with people and he was video camming with his mum sitting right there asking underage girls to twerk for him. <laughs> I love you too. Can you twerk for us? I know twerking is insane. <laughs> Oh, I love you too. Oh, I love you too. No, shut up and twerk. Maybe she can't hear us. Okay, wait. Okay, okay. Twerk for us. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. She's both in front of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah. Now tell her to show herself. Stop it, Shaylee. <laughs> love you. Oh. There's also been videos and evidence of him asking fans to like take pictures for him. Sexy bitches wearing my Hot Topic shirts. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh, if I Justine wasn't watching, I would rape all of you. <clears throat> and that like a moaning face, I believe one of them was. And it's just really disturbing. Like this guy was 25, I think, when all this was happening. And even if he was 20, I don't care. This, this is really, really disturbing stuff. So there was even a skit. There was plenty of videos and it was made, I believe, by the Feynman brothers and Shane Dawson. And it was this puppet that would ask obviously inappropriate questions. You a fan of the D? Are you talking about your big dick? What does dick mean? But because it was meant to be an underage girl, kid, whatever. Some of it was just so 
well, all of it was just so over the line. I was like, I don't even want to go into it because there was just, it's just, it makes me feel gross. Can you see how like <laughs> uncomfortable I am? There was discussions of her like touching herself. Hey, Shane, hey, hey, Shane, well, is it wrong to touch yourself in the nether regions? Jane, Jane, wait, follow up question? What? What? What does fucking mean? <laughs> Shane? Is fucking bad? Why, why don't you, you uh why don't you touch yourself a little bit? Um, what do you mean? Like my face? Wait, you're not moving your lips. Oh. <laughs> like my face? <laughs> no, touch a little a little lower. Like my underdeveloped breast? It just I know it's a guy pretending to be a kid and as a puppet, but still, there's just something so pedo about that. Skin is literally crawling because I feel so disturbed. And that's just the start of questionable behavior. I had no idea. I know it sounds dumb, but I'm now gonna have to start looking into, I feel like every YouTuber I start to watch because he joked about using the N word so many times. Nigga! He was literally shouting it in one of the videos. That is so highly offensive. Someone who's white, I can't even imagine how that must have felt if you were a fan of Shane Dawson at the time, seeing him shouting the N-word in the street, trying to get attention, trying to be funny. And then worse, he did blackface a multitude of times. D'Angelo Wallace made a whole video about Shane Dawson and I'm gonna clip in his part of how he explains blackface because it's better than any explanation I could ever give. For those of you who might not know, basically minstrel shows were this weird form of entertainment pioneered in America where white actors would paint their faces black, sometimes like just actually the color black, and they would give themselves exaggerated features, and then they would start parodying black people. And by parodying black people, I mean parodying stereotypes of black people because behavioral traits are not determined by race, but hey, that's just a theory, an anti-racism theory. They would act stupid, they would act lazy, they would act greedy, you know? All the negative stereotypes, which are actually still associated with black people today, which should tell you something about how this stuff is actually harmful. That is the purpose of minstrelsy. Okay, so one of the last kind of things I want to discuss before I give my opinion on him coming back to YouTube, regarding the series he did called The Chair, there's a YouTuber called Nick Deramio. I'm sorry I'm, if I'm butchering your name. He's done some series on Shane Dawson. They are so good. He did a video on some of the seriously shady shit that went on in the series The Chair. There is actually a whole video, or there was, I'll see if I can find it and link it below, of all of the clips that were amalgamated together of Shane Dawson's shitty behaviour on The Chair. You can watch Nick's video or you can watch that one, it's completely up to you, but I'll, I'll link both below. He spoke down to so many people throughout that whole process. I don't give a shit if there's a fucking camera there or not. It really showed what kind of person he was. I'm really also concerned about if this is the way he still thinks and treats people behind the scenes because somehow he, while doing all those kind of documentary series and becoming more serious videographer, people started to think of him as the really nice guy, really understanding, empathetic, uses the word empath in the um, Jake Paul series. And I want to help them and all of that. Because you're empathic. So an empath. I've heard that before. Which is quite funny considering how he reacted to the tatty situation. <laughs> Complete over-dramatization, first of all. But oh my god. The conversation. It wasn't enough for me to contact the authorities. Well, then why would you make a video on the matter claiming these allegations? Because she is a fucking... I can't, I can't. I don't want to say mean things about people. This is insane. This is insane. This person literally, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, sorry, keep pressing play. I need to get through this video so I can fucking, oh my God. As a victim of abuse myself. Oh my God. You are so manipulative. 
You're fake. You're fake crying. You are fake crying. You are fake crying. That is not real. Oh my god. He speaks down to people. He speaks down about the actors that are playing in his film. I don't quite understand the logic of being picky when you have no job. Well, no, but that's the problem. They do have jobs. He speaks poorly to his actual friend who's like co-directing or writing with him. Many, many times the is a problem for people. So if we just like lose that, I'm just saying. I'm not taking anything out of the movie to please a bunch of out of work actors in Pittsburgh who should be lucky to get an audition for a feature film. I think no director has ever taken anything out of a movie to get somebody to what audition. Shane? I'm angry that we're finding out about this two days before I we start filming the movie. I don't know, I'm gonna go. Your note, they're gonna roll the tape back. It's gonna go back to him saying that the first 25 minutes doesn't work because Tori's not in it. And I'm gonna go to me saying, I think that I wanna do it this way. That was the first note you went into, was the one that you knew they were gonna use. No, I don't, Jamie, because I'm not thinking about the TV show. He also tries to get a writing credit because he apparently completely changed the script. Well, the script comes out and he has to give notes on the script to make it how he likes it. He has like one revision that the screenwriter does for him. So he does it. The screenwriter fixes it, makes it more like, it was a serious movie before that the screenwriter had written, but Shane wanted it to be a broad comedy with all these raunchy jokes. And the screenwriter kind of got it right away and was like, okay, I can make it wacky and gross. Right after that, Shane is like, why don't I have a co-writing credit then? Because I basically came up with all of these ideas. And they're like, well, because of the Writers Guild and you're the director, the co he's the one who took your notes and made it into the script. He's like, well, like, whatever, I wrote the whole thing, but whatever. So it's like, already he's trying to skirt the union rules that are designed to protect protect the screenwriter from just this, a greedy director coming in and stealing screenwriting credit because they said, well, I changed that character's whole arc. Doesn't matter. You didn't write the script. That's not who's being credited for the script. And that's why there's a writer's guild to make sure that shitty directors like that don't completely fuck over the writers that completely created this script. He even didn't want any response or feedback from the people that watched it and the people that gave him comment cards to let him know what he could critique on it. Come back in for to talk, right? I think you should. You don't want to hear what people say? No. I don't want to hear like specifics. She's such a cartoon. I just, I'm never going to buy any version that he cares that she's gone. She really, what do you think is going to happen if you go in and listen? I don't need to. I don't need to hear the pick party stuff. Right. All that's fine. But right. to well, actually hear it, like, I don't need to. <laughs> we have a movie that can still be better but in the way that you envision it. Not about changing your vision. Do you see it as something that you still want to work of on and make better? And you then... guys, I'm really annoyed because I feel like I have not come across any less than a collaborative person. If you guys told me, like, right. hey, I think there's a lot of work to it, I'd be like, okay, great, let's do it. You won't read the notes? I want to see all the notes. Not you said the that. opposite to me. No, you, you... you specifically told me that night. You guys are going to send me the notes and I'm never going to read them. I mean, as a joke. But okay? it's been a week and you haven't read them either. So well, that's... I don't know where the are. Because I knew you guys were gonna come and say, hey, listen, this is the consensus from the right, card. That's different you, than reading am I, I'm supposed to read every single part? I read every single one. I'm interested to hear, like, well, specific just... things. The one note from over half the people that wrote it on the cards was, the movie was too long, I had issues with the pace. Like, listen, that's I've fine. compromised a lot in this movie, but, like, if I want one extra second, just let me have it. No one's not letting me have it. You shouldn't feel like I've compromised. I feel like you've you've learned and you've gotten notes. There's certain things that I don't like that are still there. Like I have definitely compromised. You you have direct, you have final cut on that. I feel like I've been very open to every note, every suggestion, everything. I've never like yelled at you guys that I don't know. Like if I just want an extra beat somewhere, like I feel like I deserve it at this point. I've been yelled at <laughs> for the record. I mentioned this in a previous video, I'll put it here. This is before everything even happened. I did a video saying that Shane Dawson could not take constructive criticism. He doesn't like any criticism. There was tons of tweets before where people said that his videos were too long. And he said that, well, you're getting like two hours of free content today. How dare you? It's like, it's not free, is it? Because yes, it's free technically for us, but don't make out you ain't making fucking money for this. Like you're making millions from all of the millions and millions of people that are watching your content. So don't make out that you've done this just for us. Like you're doing it for you too. It really made me wonder what he's like behind the scenes. This is only six years ago, not that long ago. I'm not saying people can't change in six years. I guarantee I'm not the same person I was six years ago. But considering we've seen some of these kind of behaviors 
It really makes me question. Um, Shane coming back to YouTube and even his apology. Just to touch on his apology ever so, ever so quickly. Um, that apology was terrible. Firstly, there shouldn't have been like a bazillion cuts. Him having so many jump cuts is a barrier to that. I counted the number of jump cuts in one minute and averaged it across 20. And if that math stands up, he has roughly 260 to 300 jump cuts and one 20 minute apology video. Observe did a whole video on his body language and everything, um, which was fantastic. That apology was shit. And I believe it came out just before the Smiths came out and pulled him to pieces about that whole Willow clip. What pisses me off about YouTuber apologies. The only person who did a good job with the YouTuber apology was Jenna Marbles because she literally turned around and goes, here's what I did, this is why it's wrong, this is why I'm leaving YouTube for a while because I think it's completely right for me to be called out for this. Like, and I'm so sorry. I don't even watch Jenna Marbles and even I think that she did a way better job than any YouTuber has ever done it. An apology should make people aware, at least, of what you did wrong. The problem with YouTuber apologies in general is the fact that they are so vague about it that anyone that doesn't know what is going on will just go, oh, well, you know, they apologised. But we'll have no idea what the fuck the apology is for. My thoughts on him coming back to YouTube, one, it's too soon. This all happened in June. It's November. It hasn't even been six months. Secondly, I'm always going to be worried about creators coming back who have taken advantage of their audience. So that goes for Zoe Laverne. That goes for Mini Lad. That goes for Shane Dawson. Those kind of creators make me very, very uncomfortable. I will say I've actually found it astonishing that after Shane did his apology video, YouTube did actually demonetize him. I don't know how long that demonetization stayed on for. Similar to the Minilad situation, I've heard that his demonetization has now been taken off. I still think if he comes back to YouTube, people will watch. People will watch for curiosity, people will watch because they're stands. The people on YouTube have no idea what he apologized for. In my honest opinion, I don't think Shane should be coming back to YouTube. I don't think anyone who's taken advantage of their young, impressionable audience should have a platform. And I know that, that that's cancel culture. I don't ever want to be involved in cancel culture. But the reason I say that is that similar to like, like I said, Mini Lad, similar to Zoe Laverne, these people are disturbing with their underage fans. And I appreciate a lot of the Shane Dawson stuff was in the past. But does that mean that if someone took advantage of a child five years ago, that they shouldn't have some repercussions from it? I don't think there's going to be any good time for him to come back, I'll be honest. The people that end up supporting him, I question if they're even aware of what is, has actually happened in the past or in the present. Those are my thoughts on the Shane Dawson situation. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you feel like it. I try to do a commentary kind of video at least once a week. Next week, I might do Trisha or maybe even Jeffrey. We'll see. Um, but I hope you have a good day, guys, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.